Myth, smoking cannabis is more harmful to health than smoking tobacco and causes lung cancer. Quote, someone who smokes marijuana regularly may have many of the same respiratory problems that tobacco smokers do. Marijuana has the potential to promote cancer of the lungs and other parts of the respiratory tract because marijuana smoke contains 50% to 70% more carcinogenic hydrocarbons than does tobacco smoke. U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. Fact, smoking cannabis is not associated with higher incidences of lung cancer or any other types of cancer. Compounds in marijuana may even be protective against the spread of various forms of cancer. Okay, first the bad news. Inhaling noxious smoke of any kind, including cannabis smoke, isn't good for you. Like tobacco smoke, marijuana smoke contains levels of select polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, though unlike the DEA claims, most of these agents are present in marijuana smoke at levels lower than those found in cigarette smoke. Now for the good news. Cannabis consumers can greatly reduce or eliminate their consumption of most, if not all, of these unwanted elements by engaging in vaporization rather than smoking. Cannabis vaporization heats marijuana to a temperature where active cannabis vapors form but below the point of combustion, therefore enabling consumers to significantly reduce their intake of gaseous combustion toxins including carbon monoxide. In 2007, a team of investigators at San Francisco General Hospital in California compared the combustible contents of smoked marijuana cigarettes to pot vapors. They determined vaporization of marijuana does not result in exposure to combustion gases and was preferred by most subjects compared to marijuana cigarettes. It is an effective and apparently safe vehicle for THC delivery. Of course, most marijuana consumers don't have access to a vaporizer. In fact, federal and statewide prohibitions outlawing the use of so-called drug paraphernalia make the use and possession of marijuana vaporizers illegal in most places. So then, is the average pot smoker at risk for developing cancer? The answer to this question, as of this writing, appears to be no. Unlike tobacco smoking, marijuana inhalation has not been positively associated with increased incidences of cancers of the lung, mouth, upper aerodigestive tract, e.g. pharynx, larynx, or esophagus, breast, colon, skin, or prostate. In 2006, the results of the largest case-controlled study ever to investigate the respiratory effects of marijuana smoking reported that pot use was not associated with lung-related cancers even among subjects who reported smoking more than 22,000 joints over their lifetime. We hypothesized that there would be a positive association between marijuana use and lung cancer and that the association would be more positive with heavier use. The study's lead researcher, Dr. Donald Tashkin of the University of California at Los Angeles, told the Washington Post. What we found instead was no association at all and even a suggestion of some protective effect among marijuana smokers who had lower incidences of cancer compared to non-users of the drug.